Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst with PJ Vic today. We are at one of our, I'd say this is top three, maybe four walleye destinations in the country. We're on Saginaw Bay in Michigan. Uh, it was a pretty long drawn out ride to get out here today because the ice is a little busted up, but we made it at sunrise. And what we're gonna do today is, I hope, we're gonna get on some giant walleyes on one of our favorite fisheries. Now, just kind of looking over my shoulder over the camera there, uh, we've got some pretty dark clouds. So it looks like we've got some inbound snow, which hopefully jacks those fish up real nice. So uh, stick around. I think we're gonna see some fantastic walleye fishing here today with PJ Vic on Saginaw Bay, Michigan. Oof, yeah, that's a nice fish. Come on, baby. <laughs> there we go. Come on here. Just choke that thing. Just completely woofered you, you it up. You can't even see it. Yep. Good. <laughs> right on. Uh, it's, we're just getting started here this morning, so I got the uh, glow jig and wrap on a number five and uh, that's one of my favorite low light colors by far for jig and wrap and uh, that one agreed and I'm gonna ke keep some fish to eat James so you do you yep that's a good one for that I know what keeps your motor running yeah it's fish <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Got him. Got him. Time for me to switch. Time to switch. The spoon experiment <laughs> is over. <laughs> That's not a bad one either. N another jig and wrap just, just choked totally it. choked. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, beautiful fish. Good eater. We're gonna keep that one. I got her down in the gills with that jig and wrap. When you're keeping fish, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good hit. And uh, you know, what I'm doing is I'm keeping it about a foot and a half off the bottom or so, and I'm jigging rather aggressively. You know, I'm doing some big rips. And as soon as I can get these fish triggered to start coming up, I'm f having them follow it with aggressive pops like this and I'll reel. And the faster they come, the faster I reel away from them. And it seems like once you get them about, I don't know, it, it's been about eight feet off the bottom or something. If, if they go any further than that, they're probably not gonna bite. So I've just been yo-yoing them back down to the bottom. They'll follow it down and I'll try to re-engage that fish and then start bringing it up again. And there, there's been quite a few where you'll do that five, six times before that fish actually bites, but it's definitely the trigger. 
There's like three, four of them. Crazy. Darting around like freaking tulipies. There he is. Well, they're aggressive. <laughs> yep. Oh, you got them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Come here, buddy. There we go. I mean, I, when they want something in particular, you got to give it to them. I was trying spoons. I didn't put a fish on the ice, and I've been over here like minutes, just a couple. Got that one on the ice, same color as PJ. That's that, uh, that glow. Great eater. It's too early in the day for me to start keeping fish. I'm gonna fire that one back. Boop. Luckiest fish on the bay right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, I got one. so coming. I don't like cleaning cold, froze fish. Cold fish, I don't mind. Froze fish, no fun. But that's the same package that PJ's using. That number five, glow jigging wrap. Basically white back end, chartreuse front end, and just tipping it with half a minnow there on that belly hook. From panfish to predators, nobody does ice fishing like BMC. BMC has created an unrivaled arsenal of weapons for the savvy panfish angler to deploy. It doesn't matter if you're fishing fast or forced to go ultra finesse. BMC has a bite-sized offering sure to entice the most wary panfish. Searching for big fish with teeth? From flutter to rattlespoons, BMC has the most attractive UV finishes and natural bait fish patterns that big walleyes can't resist. Only from BMC. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters in Walker, Minnesota has the hottest products for ice fishing at unbeatable prices. Everything from Garmin, Ice Electronics, Ice Shelters, and Ice Clothing from all the top brands. And the newest lithium-powered augers with special everyday pricing on the Garmin LifeScope Ice Bundle. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or placing an order online at reedsports.com, our state-of-the-art distribution center ensures you'll get your order fast. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters offers the best service, best price, best advice, guaranteed. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. This one's charged. I must not have any bait on there anymore. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <sighs> All right. Boy, did I work that one. <laughs> that was actually fun watching. <laughs> it was good for everybody but this guy. <laughs> When he decided to go for it, he pinned that head. Boop. I'm gonna fire those back. It's supposed to get uh, like 26 degrees today. Catch them this afternoon, keep a couple then. They won't be so tough to clean. That one hit uh, 11 feet off the bottom. Oh, nice. Here comes one hot. Come on, more than one. You got two down there? Yeah, and it's big. I like your chances. Here he comes. Oh, it's gonna happen. That was a that was a not the greatest hook set, but I got him. <laughs> I love how you brought your off hand up underneath the rod to continue the hook set. <laughs> he just got bigger. He got you feisty. Mind? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I figure I'm just standing here holding Ooh. it, right? I just seen him. Look like a oh, ooh, that's a big one. I'll get the gloves off with Holy that. Holy cow. That's a mondo. <laughs> she lulled you into like a false <laughs> sense of security. 
<laughs> um, I think that's the one we're talking about. Yeah, buddy. it's it's hooked it's in a not good place. It is. Yeah, you're gonna do it. Oh, so close. She eyeballed me and went, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. out of here. Oh, yeah. Look at yes! That. Yes! <laughs> that is what I'm talking about, bud. You got her? That is a pig. <laughs> yes! What a stud. Look at the size of that thing. That's all a 10-pounder. That's a giant. That is a monster. Big, fat, heavy. Oh, man. I would have thought that was a 20-inch fish until about five feet below the ice, and then it was just like, no, I'm done. <laughs> what a pig. Yeah, I, I would have never guessed it was that no. big. But it, it did just like all the other ones, you know, a, a chase, and then he had to re drop down and re-engage, but that second time, holy cow. Pop that thing off yeah. there for you. Yep. What a pig. And that thing was just oh. hanging on by the hair of the chin right it's there. It's such a bad place with all those <laughs> hooks hanging off as that fish comes up around that hole. Yeah. She and did you a favor, though. If she'd have been flipped over right. the other way, you never would have landed her. Right. She came in the right way and just turned her head right up. Well, and of course, it, you know, turning them up the hole is the toughest part about catching these big ones. Just don't rush, right? No, you just got to take your time, keep your pressure, let them run. If I would have tried yeah. to horse them, that, that hook would have popped right out. Well, we're gonna get that big baby back. That's a Saginaw beastie right there. Yeah, it is. Ooh, man, what a pig. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> she owned you. She owned you. <laughs> Good oh, work. Man. Heck yeah. <laughs> that was just, you got done dirty, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing that, but it'll remind me. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a red badge, right? Badge of courage. Come on, come on. What do you want? Got it on him. <sighs> Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Chicken wrap is loose. <laughs> Man, they are so squirrely. <laughs> they are mad. That's Thanks for fish. the assist on yeah, that you're one. Welcome. You can fire them right back. Okay. Yeah, we got some people coming by. We're going to go stealth mode here. So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That fish hit like eight or nine feet below the ice. Well, you saw it just basically boink, three reels, he's there. <laughs> That's why it was so squirrely when I tried to get a hold he's of him. He's pretty green yet. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is one of those deals. If you uh, have any desire to travel to get in on a great bite, this is one of our favorites. We've been coming here every year for the last three years. Would not miss it for anything. It's just such a di different atmosphere. There really is no spot on the spot per se in that these fish are just roaming a huge flat out across this bay. There's huge schools. I mean, every ice angler <coughs> at least once in their life, deserve to sit over the top of a school of walleyes that's six to eight feet thick. And that's what you run out to here, uh, when you're out here. When everything kind of aligns, you're in the right place at the right time. Some of the fishing experiences you can have, they're just second to none. And you know, we're fishing jig and wraps right now. That fish came up off the bottom of about 18 feet before it hit. Uh, that's a pretty unique deal. I'm from Minnesota where uh, they don't act like that, not very often. And just about every fish you catch out here is just kind of on a different level of crazy, which I love. The Pro Lithium 40 volt light from Strike Master is going to kick your gas. By combining their 40 volt power head, a new six amp hour battery and the Light Flight laser drill, Strike Master has achieved the pinnacle of ice shredding performance. Weighing in at 21 pounds, the Pro Lithium 40 volt can drill up to 115 holes through 16 inches of ice, while the Light Flight laser drill provides a smooth, nearly effortless cut. Strike Master, kick your gas. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer, is a proud sponsor of In Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state of the art facility in Aiken or visit us 24 7 at BrandleGM.com. 
Does your sonar offer dual spectrum chirp, producing razor sharp images on an ultra bright HD display? The ability to tailor the display to the way you fish. Precision GPS functionality with legendary Lake Master mapping to move effortlessly from ice to open water. If not, you should be fishing an Ice Helix, the electronic system that offers all the features and performance successful ice anglers demand, only from Humminbird. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. Oop, here comes one. Ho, 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 ho. Did you catch him in time? Oh, yeah. Got him. <laughs> How's he feel? Feels nice. <laughs> Epic slide, bud. It's perfect. You got that nice powder <laughs> snow on there. It's all greased up. Really nice fish. Get some eyeballs on him. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I think we're going to be OK. Come on, baby. You can do it. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. a chubby. Oh. Yes. That is a chunky fish. Nice female. Look at that. Head hunted it. <laughs> Not, they don't get away when they do that. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Take that. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Ooh, that was hooked perfect. Fish agrees. Yep. Hardly even felt it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome fish. Probably one of them 24s. Yeah. I would say. Great build on it. Yeah, yeah. These these fish have been eating really well up in here. Right. Yeah. And fish populations here on the bay are kind of at an all-time high. I mean, yeah. It no, hasn't been any better, at least in a long time. No, no. In in the, the that size class of uh, you know like four, five, and six pound fish is really, really strong. Right. Here. It's it's the same year classes that are thriving down in Lake Erie right now too, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Same time period. Great yep. spawns right. here. Great spawns down there. Yeah, there. There was definitely something to be said about when the Great Lakes all came up kind of simultaneously. There was a lot of great spawns and uh, natural reproduction that coincided with it. I think that the years that really gave us those great spawns were the years where we had late ice. Yeah, yeah, there was. There was. Those were some darn good fishing years too. Well, there's not very many <laughs> bodies of water where you can keep eight walleyes. No. Like you can right here. No, it's kind of amazing actually. And, and the population is still thriving. I'm not keeping eight, but I'm going to keep a couple. Yeah, right now. This is a good one. There he is. That one? Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, I can only catch one of three. <laughs> there is a bunch. Need more jigs and hooks. <laughs> I don't think I want to jig and wrap with even more hooks. I don't think he's a beastie, but... It's decent. I mean, yeah. we keep waiting for the activity level to slow down, but I think it, with it this has, snow yeah, and this haze, it's, it's just it's just hanging on. Yep, I think we're going to have that action as long as uh, this snow sticks around. Well, I've never wanted to see the sun less. There are you. Oh, yeah. Decent nice fish. fish. <laughs> oh. The jig and wrap is gone again. Just absolutely gone. You know you chose the right color for the day. Right. When you start seeing that. Well, and that's the kind of, wow. Uh, yeah. That's the kind of deal there where you could probably get by it with no meat on a fish yeah. like that. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I would say with a hook job like that, that's a good frying pan fish. <laughs> We're going to keep that one. That one's got a little, I bled that one. Yeah. All right. Yep, that is a great frying pan fish right there. Coming home. It's a long drive to Minnesota. <laughs> All right, I need a minnow. Yeah, good job, bud. Yeah. I had, I mean, they were just doing the darty. I love that. that. That's one of the most exciting things about Great Lakes walleyes is sometimes you'll actually get three, four, five, six of them all chasing and fighting over it at the same time. Not too many places you get to see that. No. Uh, the only downside to that, it's super fun to see it. 
The little ones usually win. <laughs> They're a little faster. <laughs> it'll, yeah. it'll bug you. You'll have a giant mark and two little ones, yeah. and those two little buggers will get it most <laughs> of the time. Very cool. Thank you. Appreciate You're the welcome. help. Got him. <laughs> Ooh, these things are so fired up. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Yes. Nice fish. Heck yeah. I just switched over to that orange jig and Rapala. It's midday now. Sun came out. You know, it kind of went away from that glow and brought out the bright colors. That's kind of a rule of thumb for me. Bright, bright conditions, bright colors. That's the number five orange jigging wrap. And for a middle of the day fish, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna let that one go. Just a little bit too big. Off you go, girl. All right. I didn't change that color, but five minutes ago, first fish that came up, interacted with it, and he come racing up and cracked it. And I've definitely found that orange to be a hot one during this midday period where it's brighter out. Get speed on there and get it back down. Norsk Lithium offers a complete lineup of lithium ion batteries to power your ice electronics that provide huge weight savings and the power you need to fish from sun up to sun down. Available in 7.5, 15, and 20 amp hour capacities, Norsk Lithium batteries are perfectly matched to power your mechanical, digital, and live imaging sonar systems. Featuring two patent pending USB ports for powering all of your USB devices and an integrated LED power indicator. Find your perfect battery online at norsklithium.com. Here at StrikeMaster, our goal, our focus, was to create the warmest, most thoughtfully engineered, and safest lineup of outerwear for the ice angler ever produced. StrikeMaster's SOS Stay On Surface flotation technology will be there if you need it, providing up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. StrikeMaster, wear the hottest brand on the ice. This winter, Reeds in Walker, Minnesota is celebrating their 50th anniversary by giving the viewers of the In-Depth Outdoors TV show the chance to win the ultimate ice fishing machine. Prize package includes a Polaris Ranger XP1000 with tracks and a flatbed trailer. To enter, visit our website at indepthoutdoors.com and look for the 50th anniversary logo to submit your entry. The winner will be selected May of 2022 and I will personally deliver the Polaris and trailer to the winner. Enter today for your chance to win at indepthoutdoors.com. Man, did that thing choke it. I found the wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. I think I'll be able to extract this one all right. I'm over there whooping on combos and you're just beating up on them. Over a, here. a growing boy's got to eat. <laughs> growing boy's got to eat. Oh, man. I can get that one out of there. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, pretty easy. Piece of cake. Dandy. Yeah, yeah. I'll let that one go. I only want a couple. Yeah. See you later, fish. Come on, got him. Oh, heck yeah, that one was awesome. Up, and when he would lose interest, I would fire that bait back down below him. Not a long way. Get it down below that fish, maybe a foot or two. And then start jigging back up again. Today they hate that. Ho, ho, ho. Heck yeah. Look at that. Smoked it. <laughs> All right. That 
was a pretty cool interaction watching that all take place on the hummingbird up and down that's what we're talking about right super aggressive fish doing crazy stuff to eat a jig and wrap i've got my two that fish is in great shape i'm gonna fire it back see you bye here we go Whoa. a boy came in high did you say he was high up yep nice fish oh yeah i switched back over to that go in the dark jig and wrap as we're getting a little later in the afternoon here and they had a fish probably about almost halfway down the column show up and if you do any great lakes fishing at all you know that when you see those high flyers come in that fish is going to bite. They're up there for one reason and one reason only, and that's hunting bait fish. And that's exactly what that one did. I brought it above it. There was no keeping it away from that fish. Right down. One's a little big. Let's get this one back. Well, we're almost out of sunlight, which means we're pretty much out of time. Uh, what we did here today on Saginaw Bay, uh, in a nutshell, kind of sums up what it is I truly love about ice fishing. Great Lakes walleyes, aggressive fish, not that they were easy to catch. Once you kind of, you know, found the right key. Unlock the key, yeah. Right. Yeah. They come unglued, yeah. and you get to see that walleye as that crazy, aggressive predator, right? You know, so very often we're on bites where they're just sulky, you know, pains in the rear. Not here, and that's why every year we look forward to coming back to experiencing this bite. I know it's one of my favorites. It's definitely one of my favorites. I mean, Great Lakes walleye bites in general, the population's so strong, there's a huge competition between these fish. So you get to see an attitude out of these walleyes you'll never see anywhere else. It, 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 the vapor trails, the chasing, three, four at a time coming after it, it doesn't get any better than that. That's literally what we live for as walleye fishermen. Uh, for everybody watching, I hope you really enjoyed today's show. Uh, for us, the quantity and then the quality of the walleyes caught today were pretty outstanding. And you <laughs> and set piggy. the bar pretty darn high with yeah. that big mama you ice. So, yeah, she looked like she swallowed a bowling ball. <laughs> well, she's got a job to do here in a couple of months. So. Yeah. To everybody, thanks for watching. For PJ, Vic, and I, we'll see you out there on the ice. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.